What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, we got some crazy, crazy news. And yeah, the preparing for the market crash video is coming early today. And as before I start the video, you know what to do. Drop 10k in the comments. Let's get this video to 60 likes for a chance at 10k. All you gotta do is like and comment. Drop the sub if you're new. We're posting all the time. Alright guys, so. Word on the street. Freaking MLB The Show tweeted out that the content is coming earlier. And honestly, I'm kind of excited, but I'm also kind of not excited. I was kind of prepared for Friday for this video, but I'm dropping it on Thursday. And you know what? It's how to prepare for the market crash. There should be a market crash coming. You know, I'm going to be honest. It is a prediction. They said content is dropping early because of Memorial Day weekend. So, as you can see, my yellow just sold. I have about 600k stubs. So, yeah. So, we're on the street that there is... A, uh, what's it called? I can't even think of the word. They're, they're dropping content. They're dropping, they said moments. I don't know about the headliners, but I, they have to drop headliners. They drop them every week. So I'm pretty sure this headliner's dropping. There's no way they don't drop. So be prepared for two videos today. This video and then an, uh, a headliner pack opening later. A 50 bundle with a headliner pack opening. But let's get into the auction as I usually do. Let's talk about what's going to go down, what's going to happen. Honestly, bro, what's going to happen is, so, whoa, 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 who is this guy for a million stubs? Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay. So, what I'm noticing is that the market is going to be screwed up, bro. So, this is what I'm thinking. So, that stub sale, the stub sale rose everybody's price like insanity, like crazy, like no ever before. So, what I'm thinking is, everybody's price is stupid expensive. The market is due to crash. I If they don't drop headliners, it's not going to crash. But they have to drop headliners, correct? So, I'm preparing you for headliners, bro. If they don't drop headliners, I'm sorry, bro. That's on me. That's all on me. But they're going to have to drop something tomorrow. They're definitely dropping moments. They got to drop the headliners, bro. So, what I'm thinking is, so ready? If Josh Hatter's 30k and a week ago before the stub sale came, he was 20k, what makes you think he's going to stay at this price? That's a perfect example. There's just too many players that are so expensive. There's a million of them, especially diamonds. The diamonds are going to go down. There's no way they don't. So Chris Sale's at 47k, bro. My prediction is he goes down to at least 42, 40. As you guys can see, I freaking sunburned. I'm sorry for that. It looks like I got freaking destroyed in the fight, but no, that is not the case. But yes, guys, so, like, think about this. If you guys have been watching my videos, you've seen all these diamonds not even close to the price they're at right now. Their prices are absolutely insane. Like, they're literally double the price, bro. Lindor was like 60k before the stub sale. The stub sale destroyed the auction block, brought them to value that they had in the beginning of the game. Which I guess you could say is good for the game not dying out and just not everything crashing. and hold, like every, Everyone holds their value that way. So, this is what I'm thinking, bro. When they drop headliners and I pull a diamond, everybody that pulls the diamond is going to sell right away. So, if everybody sells right away, what does that create? A market crash. That is literally what it creates. There's no other way to put it. I don't care what you say. If you say it's not a market crash, you're insane because that's what literally what a market crash is. So, what I'm going to tell you to do, and this week, literally, I promise you, I think that this week is the good time to sell your diamonds. Most of mine are sell. As you can see, I'm literally, literally at a half a mil. It's crazy, bro. I've been grinding. I'm at a half a mil. But, guys... Sell your diamonds. I'm predicting a very big market crash. It's way due. It's been about two weeks since the market crash. We're just going to go over some cards. Let's just go over some cards, bro. First of all, Aaron Judge was literally 28k before the stub sale. Bregman was 17k before the stub sale. Dude. Dude, it's, it's coming. Oh, I was waiting for this moment. Tomorrow's a big day for everybody. I'm posting this. Mad early, so you guys know what to do. You guys are going to have to sell your diamonds ASAP Rocky, okay? Bellinger's going to drop. 
Everybody's gonna drop. Golds are gonna drop. This is a big update, bro. We're gonna be crazed, bro. Okuna's at 8k because he's been playing amazing. He's gonna drop. Tomorrow is gonna be the time to make stubs, bro. Tomorrow's the time at about 3.30 Eastern, bro. Tomorrow is gonna be the time to buy uh, not buy packs. Never buy packs unless you're your boy Bugs. We've been pulling Sony Partner Diamonds as of late. This is the time to buy golds, buy all your investments, bro, at 3.30 Eastern. So sell your diamonds right now. If you're watching this video, sell your diamonds, rack up your stubs, buy as many investment cards as you can at 3.30 Eastern when the market crashes. Once again, I am very sorry if they do not drop headliners. This only is for if they drop headliners. So let me go over some prices right now. The go everything is up. I'm just saying everything is up. I remember everybody's prices in my head because I literally look at the cards every day. We go over the market almost every day on this channel. So what I'm saying is Chris Bryan is at his peak. I'm dead ass. I sold mine. He's at his peak. He was at 34k the other day. He's you probably won't see him at that price unless he gets upgraded. So right now you sell your Chris Bryan's. You sell your Okunas. I'm going to sell my Akunas. My investments are going bye-bye. I don't care. This is the time to sell all of your investments, bro. They're never going to go up ever again. Unless they drop a stub sale. If they drop a stub sale, I'm going to cry. They never should drop a stub sale again. Literally, ever. Okay, so... Chapman, bro. This guy is going to be 3k tomorrow. Okuna's going to drop to 7-6. Uh, we got a bunch of diamonds. Let me go over Machado. Machado's a big one. He went up literally 20k. I'm not even kidding. He's at 60, 59, whatever. What is he at? 59K. If you guys remember in my video about probably a week and a half ago, something about the market, one of my market videos, I picked up Machado for 42K. He's literally double. Not double, but you know what I mean, bro. He's up like 20K stubs. Just listen to me, bro. If you're watching this video, listen to what I'm saying. It's going to pay off. You're going to make stubs. Unless, only if they drop headliners. I'll say it again. I'm sorry. If they don't drop headliners, I'm so sorry. But, bro, either way, if they don't drop headliners, they're not going to go up in price. There's no way. So, okay. So, when it, 3.30 content comes out, you pick up the diamonds. I'm just going to go over more cards uh, and just instead of saying the same exact thing. So, we got Rizzo. Rizzo's probably going to go down to a K. These are the players I'm going to be picking up. These I'm going to be personally picking up these players. I'm going to list them. Trevor Story is 100% for me. I'm going to be picking him up. Ozuna, I'm going to be picking him up. Uh, Whit Merrifield's a definite. He's been batting amazing. He's been doing great. Awesome card to pick up during the crash. Donaldson's been doing decent. I'll pick him up. Where is he? Mr. Polanco. Polanco's on roids. How much is he at? Corey Polanco. He might go down to 500 stubs tomorrow. When he goes down, just get him. He's going to be a gold this year. He's on steroids again. They just haven't checked him. Uh, we got Kirby Yates. Kirby Yates, yo, his edge is down. He's still quick sell value, which is still insane because he's still playing amazing. Carlos Correa has finally been playing amazing. I've been waiting for this guy to play good. Like, he's so inconsistent. I don't care, if any, I don't care what any of you guys say. He is one of the most inconsistent players in baseball. He will have a month of tearness, and he will have a month where he dies, and he just doesn't show up. I don't care what anybody says. You could say he's consistent. He's not consistent. I've been ha I had this guy in fantasy like every year. I know how he plays. Vlad Jr., the one card I'm going to just say, back off. Don't even look at him. He's just so iffy, that card. He's still going to drop if you want him. He's going to drop. He's not going to stay at this price. The like, that is insanity that he's at 6K. He's not, like, maybe he'll be diamond this year because everybody loves him. I don't know. But yeah, guys, those are like the main cards I wanted to show you that are going to go down that you should pick up pretty much investment wise. And honestly, that's all I got. Let me see. Anything else? Barreos. Barreos got to pitch good, bro. He had two bad starts in a row, which is freaking annoying because he's been pitching amazing before that. Blackman, that quick sell value. Perfect. You're going to want to pick up all these cards, bro, at the market crash. Unless they're at quick sell value, you can just pick them up now. And yeah, so let me go over some diamonds quick. We got, okay, if you guys need some outfield help and some starting pitcher help, bro, all these 85 diamonds are going to drop probably 5K. I would highly recommend picking up all these guys. Yo, Chapman at 44K is not happening. He might go down to 35K. That is crazy prices. 
And honestly, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you understand what I'm saying, just bro, just most of my subs do. If you don't, drop a comment. Just listen to me. If headliners come out, you will make stubs if you just listen to this video, I promise. And guys, and no, no, you do not sell them at 3.30. You just buy your cars at 3.30, wait till about Sunday, Saturday, whatever you want to do. And guys, I hope you have a good one. Stay tuned for more content. Your boy Bugs on fire. We got a pack opening after this vid later today. We're going to be a little late. It's going to be around 6 o'clock Eastern. Stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Hey, yo,